Hello, my white glove enthusiasts. We're gonna talk about Pocket Host today, which is the easiest way to get set up with a managed Pocket Base instance. This is not sponsored. I just wanted to show you the easiest way, and this is the easiest way that I know of. So we're gonna go through this real quick. If you look on the homepage, you'll notice, first of all, that there's no pricing, but I assure you that it's quite reasonable. I've already created an account here for the purpose of this video. So we're just gonna go dive right in. I've already uh, created the account and verified my email. We're gonna go into this instance and you'll see that it's got a quick get started guide for JavaScript. Obviously with Dart, it's gonna be a little bit different. It's got FTP access so you can access uh, the actual data directory, your public web front end files, migrations and hooks. So you can do all the custom stuff that you'd expect from you know hosting your own pocket based instance. Uh, it's got a set of logs and then you can add environment variables and secrets. And then in settings, you can do things like rename the instance, turn on maintenance mode so that you can do a version change. Um, and then obviously there's dev mode and admin sync that matches your admin login with your pocket host IO login, which you'll see here in a second. And then you can delete the instance, but the biggest, most important thing here is this custom domain at the bottom. So this is how you go ahead and set up your custom domain. And in order to log in to the admin panel, we're gonna tap on this button right there. Now it would normally ask you for your email and password. This is actually just your pocket host email and password and you're in and you'll notice you've got everything that you would expect from your own self-hosted pocket based instance. So this is really great. Now pricing. So if you go down to pricing, go to my account, what you'll see is that your first project is free. And then after that, it's $20 a month, but it's $20 a month for infinite projects, the best I can tell. So if you wanna do like 10 or 20, then it's $20 a month. If you wanna do one, then it's free. And I think that's quite reasonable. Now, there are other options like fly.io and hosting on railway. And then someone by the name of Rody Davis on Twitter has shown recently that you can run it on cloud run with like a persistent database, which is actually really cool. So there are other options as well. Um, to consider, but this one is the easiest. And the reasons why you might consider other options are if you want to have, for example, a Dart shelf server that's running in a sidecar pattern so that you can have a custom server that's using Pocketbase as like the core of the back end uh, in order to store things and manage users and all that stuff. So there's a lot of reasons to run your own. I also think that running your own is a great skill to have, but I just want to show you guys a quick way to do it. So there you go.